Lately I've been studying more about the research done on the rhesus protein. What they found out was that the rhesus protein expedites the removal of CO2 or carbon dioxide from the red blood cells. It also helps to remove ammonia from the red blood cells and it plays a role in pH regulation. What does this research mean for people that are Rh negative that do not have the rhesus protein or the D antigen? Well, it seems obvious to me that perhaps we have more exposure to carbon dioxide and ammonia since we do not have the rhesus protein. Uh, if this is the case, I was doing some research into what that might mean for us. And I found out that if we have more exposure to carbon dioxide, that we're likely to be have more of a acidic pH level. Uh, this would be lower on the scale. It would be anything under a 7.0 would be considered acidic on the pH scale. Um, so, and I was also looking about uh, more information about the rhesus protein being an ammonia transporter. And I found out that uh, the RHCG, uh, which was what they were studying that is transporting the ammonia out of the cell, attaches itself or works together with the rhesus D protein, which we don't have. Um, it helps to excrete acid out of the red blood cell. So again, it seems more likely that um, in the way that it regulates the pH level, um, we would be more acidic, I believe. I decided to test this out, so I got a pH test strips, and I tested out my pH level, and I found out that I was 6.0, uh, which would be slightly acidic. It's underneath the 7.0 scale. Uh, my mom tested her pH level, and she was at a 5 point something, um, and she's an RH negative carrier. Uh, so it does seem that maybe we are perhaps more acidic. I need to do more tests in this. And of course there needs to be more research done on the RH negative people. Um, if this theory is correct, I also found out some other information that would support my theory that I wrote about in my books. In both of my books, um, I put forth the theory that we would be more electrical beings. Um, that it seems as if our blood type would be perfect for the high priest or high priestesses. Uh, the high priests worked with the electrical Ark of the Covenant. There always seems to be an electrical connection with our blood type. You know, we disrupt electrical appliances. We blow out light bulbs. There's always this electrical component. And it's interesting, and I don't think a coincidence, that God calls his chosen people the elect. Elect is the first syllable of electrical. So, um, in all my books, I've been playing around with this theory that somehow we would work good with energy and electricity. Um, now, I finally have some proof of that. Whenever I started studying more about um, the pH levels in the body, I found out that if you're more alkaline, 
your body has more electrical resistance to electricity. Now it's interesting because we're told in a lot of the medical websites that I looked at, we are told to stay alkaline. <laughs> you know, that if we're more acidic, that could be bad for our health or whatever. Now, what is interesting is that in most of the medical websites that I looked at, they tell people to be more alkaline that if you're more acidic, it can lead to more health problems. And even on this pH test uh, strips box, it says stay alkaline. Um, but here's the thing, you know, why are we more acidic? Um, is there a reason in it? And does being more acidic for us, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I think it is a good thing. And here's the reason why. Whenever I was studying up about the pH levels in the body, I found out that if you're more alkaline, you have more electrical resistance in your body. Um, so the complete opposite of that is if you have a more acidic pH level, you're bound to be more have less electrical resistance. Therefore, you're going to be more in tune to an electrical conductor. You know, um, I believe if you are more acidic and you have less electrical resistance, electricity is going to travel through your body faster. Um, this could be why we have the weird electrical things going on. Okay, so what does this mean for people with the rhesus negative blood type? Well, obviously, if our pH level is more acidic, we're, our bodies are going to have least electrical resistance. Uh, so therefore, electricity would travel through our body very quickly. Um, our bodies would operate more like a battery. A car battery has a lot of acid in it. Um, if this is the case, then we would be really good electrical conductors. Um, and my theory that we would have been good to work with electricity um, could be proven by this, um, by the scientific research. Um, Like this light bulb lights up, you know, with this plasma ball. See, once it gets near the plasma, it starts lighting up. Uh, that's how our body would operate. Okay? And people that have more of an alkaline blood type, they would offer more resistance, you know, so maybe only half of this lights up or something, you know. Um, I believe we would have less electrical resistance due to our acidic blood. Um, I think this is a good thing. Um, I think we would have been perfect as high priest and I believe that this is why God called us his elect because we have this electrical ability. We can work with energy. We can feel energy in our bodies. Like right now, the electrons are coming into my body and I can feel this energy. Uh, we seem to have that natural ability and it's probably more likely due to the fact that our pH level is more acidic because we do not have the Reese's protein.